All right. Welcome to the tenth episode of our fucking amazing podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, this is the tenth one. We're in the double digits. <laughs> what do you call it? The mate. We're in the majors now, right? So. I guess. I feel like we're still a mess, and we still don't know what we're doing. Oh, it's such a mess. <laughs> such a mess. We, we don't rehearse any of this shit. We don't go over nothing. We, like, totally do this off the fly. <laughs> because we can. So, ha-ha. <laughs> um, got a lot of good feedback from last week's episode. Um, they really liked having somebody else on there. And I think, I, I know already... A, a, one or two people I definitely want to have on in the future and I, I would love to get people in here um, as often as possible because I, I think it's a lot of fun anyway how was your weekend it was good it was hot and I took a nap <laughs> well that's always good <laughs> how was your weekend hot also very fucking hot um, it's hot as fuck here right now how hot is it? Like a hundred degrees. Oh yeah, it's like well, it's like that here. Yeah. It's fucked up. Like. Is it humid? Fuck yeah, it's humid. It's oh, bad. I can't do humidity. Oh no. It's like I took a shower before I came down to the studio, and like my balls are just a fucking wet mess right now. Like you already need another shower. Yeah, definitely. Well, if, you know, if I was <laughs> having sex, I would. But I'm not having sex tonight, so I can just have the balls <laughs> sweating all night. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, my weekend was interesting. Um, I learned something about myself. And I love to learn shit about myself. Um, a friend of mine had a grand opening party for her for her st- uh, store, and afterwards, everybody that was you know her close friends stuck around afterwards and hung out and whatever. Well, she had. I ended up spending the evening talking to two lesbians the whole night. (laughs) And one of them I know. It's one of her very best friends, and I've known her for years because I used to fuck her sister. And she hates me because I used to fuck her sister. (laughs) Because apparently I either fucked the crazy into her or brought it out of her, but the bitch was crazy. (laughs) And then an employee of hers who... I was a little disappointed, I'm not going to lie. Because I kind of wanted to fuck her. Had no nobody had any idea she was a lesbian, but she like had a couple of drinks and came out to everybody that night that she was a lesbian. Maybe she was lying. I don't know. <laughs> but I find myself fascinated um, by lesbians, and I did not know that I was fascinated so much by lesbians. Um, <laughs> first of all, the the friend that I know, I haven't seen this girl in over ten years, and you know she made it super fucking awkward for me because she was just like you know why were you so mean to my sister and this and like how do you politely tell somebody i tried and this is exactly <laughs> like i tried and this is exactly what i said i was like listen like let me start by complimenting your sister i've slept with a lot of women in my life like a lot of fucking women i still consider your sister up there as like some of the best sex i've ever had <laughs> the videos are great too <laughs> I said but like yo she's fucking crazy you know and at some point when you're dealing with crazy like you have to be fucking mean sometimes <laughs> is she a Scorpio I was trying to remember that on the fucking drive here <laughs> I don't know if she's a Scorpio or a Taurus but I'm pretty sure it's either one of those and I got issues with both those motherfuckers mm. cause they're just fucking nuts um <laughs> So whatever, it was very, well, it might have been awkward for her. It wasn't awkward for me because I don't give a fuck. I was like, I was like, yo, hit your sister up right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know it'll bite me in the ass. But <laughs> she's actually, I think, the first nympho I ever slept with. And okay. when I, when I, like, when I say nympho, I mean nympho. I would fuck this girl for hours, hours. And I would fucking, I would be done and she would sit there and masturbate for a good half hour I'm like god damn like bitch I just put in work probably lost <laughs> five pounds in water weight and you're still playing with yourself like what the fuck um 
that's uh, that was yeah probably my first encounter with a nympho. That's some wild ass shit. Um, but the the thing that interested me was talking to this other girl and kind of like picking her brain about being a lesbian. And I think what I, what I figured out about myself is that I'm just baffled by a girl who wouldn't want this dick. <laughs> I know that sounds horrible, but it's, it's hard for me to wrap my so brain So it's around. like, is it like a challenge? I don't think it was, no, I don't think it was about being a challenge, honestly. Like, I just really, I was just really curious to wrap my brain around it. And like, I was just, and I'm sure she fucking hates me because I just asked her questions all fucking night long. <laughs> Even the next day when I saw her, I was like, you know, I kind of want to have you on my podcast. I'm probably going to do the same thing I was doing to you last night, but... You know, I'd like to pick your brain some more as to why you don't like penises. <laughs> she said she was down, and I might do it. I don't know. It depends. I got to think about it. But, yeah, so I found out about myself. I was fascinated <laughs> by the fact that a woman could turn down, like, some, some dick. Yeah. And, no, I don't think rejection had anything to do with it, or challenge had anything to do with it. Anyway. So that was my weekend. <laughs> Let's see. Were you drunk? Oh, girl, you know I don't drink to have fun. She may have been, though. <laughs> I have to drink just to deal with who I am as a person. <laughs> no comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Let's see. Tonight, I want to talk about a couple of different things. And one of them is grammar. Are you a grammar Nazi? Um, I can be. I'm not all the time. So, apparently, and some people are probably like, what the fuck does this have to do with anything we normally talk about? But, <laughs> apparently, like I, I get a lot of women that message me and they're like, I would fuck you on your grammar alone. <laughs> I'm like, for real? <laughs> really? <laughs> to the point where it's so many that I'm like, okay, so these bitches might actually be turned on by good grammar. <laughs> Which is kind of weird, but but on a level, I get it. because. Well, it just shows, well, I think it's more so common sense. When you're an adult, like you should know what it is. But also it shows, I guess... In, like, your intelligence. Yes. And I know for me, personally, I'm very attracted to intelligence. Yeah. <clears throat> I had a guy, he fucking messaged me yesterday, and he's telling this story and how he's a college graduate, but he used B-T-D-U-B for by the way. First of all, <laughs> it's more fucking letters than just B-T-W. <laughs> Second of all, you're a fucking college graduate. What the fuck are you doing, dude? <laughs> BT dub what are you a fucking 13 year old girl oh, <laughs> get the fuck God. out of here so I get it in the aspect of this if I'm sexting with a girl um and they can't like they you know the, the normal ones the theirs and you know the, all those key your. yes all, your yeah that's a big one. All those key That's words. That's the biggest one, I think, is your and their. Those are the two biggest definitely, ones. Definitely. Definitely. I like to point them out. Like, I definitely like to point them out like just to piss people off, just to annoy people. But <laughs> if you're like doing it during sexting, like that would be a turnoff. Like, if you use the wrong their or your, I'm like, what? Do you, what that doesn't make any sense. That's not hot. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Like, <laughs> Like the fuck. Um, so I I can see I, I can't say that it would be a turn on, but it can absolutely be a fucking turn off. <laughs> yeah. I mean I know a lot of like very like educated and very smart people though that when they're texting they don't really use proper grammar just because it's like they're just texting really quick or they're not really paying attention, like and so I get that. So it doesn't necessarily mean that they're stupid or, you know, that they don't know. But 
I mean, it's definitely better when they just use the right one. I, I, I feel like, I understand what you're saying in that aspect. I feel like most of the people that I text with, like just text regularly with, um, mm-hmm. don't even do that. There are a couple that do that, but for the most part, they'll like use correct spelling or whatever. Yeah. Um, I won't do it. Like, I just, I don't know why I just have to just write, <laughs> I have to write the shit out like a fucking idiot. <laughs> I do too. Like I don't even use like the T B H. Like I will type out to be honest. Nah, fuck. Like that. I don't. Fuck I don't that. do like that kind of stuff. I feel like the only one I use is like A F. I use A F. A F. I don't know. I don't care. Oh, I type out. I don't know. I type out. I don't care. To be honest, like I use those all the fucking time. All the time. <laughs> um, you do I I K R. I know, right? Right. <laughs> it's just I spend so much fucking time every day responding to fucking messages on Snapchat because my Snapchat is super interactive. But like, I gotta have some fucking shortcuts. I have to. Yeah. <clears throat> but at least BT they dub. at least they stand for what I'm writing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> BT dub. Sit down, princess. Stop it. um but the reason that this all came about was we were talking about you know we were talking about oh no i had made a comment somebody said something about i I forget what the fuck it was but my response was my english teacher used to show me her her tits and her pussy so it's kind of like progressed a little bit on my, Wait, did she really? Yeah, yeah. And I, uh, the reason <laughs> the reason that I'm telling you this is I'm gonna tell the story because it sounds. Oh. I mean, it is what it is, but it it sounds like it. It was much better than it was, <laughs> but everybody wanted to know the story, so I'm gonna tell it in a second here. Um, so, some dude was like, "Maybe that's why you're so good at grammar." And I'll be honest with you, and this is the God's honest truth. That's not TBH. why. That's not why I'm good with grammar. I will tell you exactly why the fuck I'm good with grammar. I know grammar, obviously learned it growing up, but didn't give a fuck. And when I got on Instagram, didn't give a fuck. And I would use the wrong there, and I would use the wrong your, and I would spell shit wrong. And let me tell you something. After enough fucking cunts m- comment on your shit about. Uh, this is spelled wrong. That is spelled wrong. You know what? I learned real quick. I don't have time for this shit. Let me just let me just put a little extra thought into it and make sure it's spelled correctly before moving forward and posting something. So that's mm-hmm. that's why I'm so anal about about my fucking grammar. Um. <laughs> so here's the story of me and this teacher. This was my high school or my senior year of high school. And she was 23 years old. She was a hot little piece of ass. And I I went to this high school. It was for one year. It was my senior year. I'd gotten kicked out of my other school. And I met somebody who to this day is, you know, one of my best friends. And we met in this class. And... She constantly used to like make us sit next to each other. Well, we sat next to each other, right? But she would make us like put our desks together and she would sit in front of the class. But she would make him and I sit at the very front, right in front of the desk that she would sit on top of to quote teach us. Well, numerous times she would sit there with no panties on, open her fucking legs wide, and we're literally staring right at this bitch's pussy. She knew exactly what the fuck she was doing. Um, but the most, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, the one that stands out the most is (laughs) she made us all pair up one day. Obviously him and I didn't know anybody, you know, we were fast friends at that point. We sat next, you know, we're sitting, you know, we buddied up or whatever. And (laughs) this fucking idiot, man, I swear to God. So she's like, gives this assignment. And she starts going around the classroom and, like, helping people or whatever. So I'm sitting I'm sitting on the right. He's on the left. And she comes over on the side of me on 
on my right. And she, you know, leans forward with this very low cut blouse. Titties completely exposed to us, like 100%. So, you know, I'm like, I'm enjoying the view. You know what I mean? Like, cool about it. I didn't yeah. know my friend was not very cool. Like, he was <sighs> not cool at all. This what? motherfucker, yo, no bullshit. And we still talk about this shit to this day. This motherfucker starts nudging my arm. Like, this is all very blatant what he's doing because she's right in my face, bent over. Starts nudging my fucking arm, talking. I'm going to do how exactly how he said it. Yo, are you seeing this? Now, tell me that bitch didn't hear that. <laughs> And all I can think is, shut the fuck up. Like, yeah, I can see it. I'm trying to enjoy it. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> shut up. I couldn't believe it. Like, you are, like, yo, you're not cool. <laughs> he just lost major cool points for that. What the fuck was that? <laughs> so that's that story. I know it, I'm, the way I presented it left the, uh, you know, left it open for the imagination, but. Uh, she would do this regularly. She would regularly sit in front of us with no panties on, regularly bend over in front of us and show us her titties. Um, <laughs> and Oh, my yeah. gosh. You're a victim. You are one of her victims. Please. <laughs> She's the I, feel like, I feel like I should have got a blowjob if I was going to be a victim. Like, I, well, I'm about to say something really fucked up, and it just is what it is, but I feel... And it's a double standard, but I feel like the the male <laughs> the male teachers that do that to to girls that are under eighteen, I think it's really really fucked up. I really do. Even though I know a lot of them fucking want it, I think it's really fucked up. But I think the female teachers that do it, I, like yo, I fuck with that. <laughs> I definitely. Well, actually, now that I think about it, I feel like it's much easier for a woman to expose herself. On purpose or accidental, because, like, if she's not keeping her legs closed and she's wearing a dress or a skirt, like, that's easy. Or, like you said, if you're wearing a low, a low-cut shirt. But a guy can't really accidentally expose himself. Like, it doesn't really happen. Right. But Unless if he has, like, super short shorts on or something. But <laughs> other than that, that's it. I've pulled that Which, move. that's happened to me. I've pulled that move before. <laughs> <laughs> I've pulled that move before. Um... But, yeah, no, like, this woman was sitting in front of us with, you know, a, a skirt, like, to her fucking knees and no panties or fucking stockings on with her legs spread wide open. Of course we're going to see yeah. a fucking pussy, you know. <clears throat> so, but, yeah, I, I, I don't know why I feel, you know, it's a double standard like a lot of things in life, but I, 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 I can't imagine a fucking, any man or, you know, teen fucking a teacher and feeling like a victim afterwards and this is probably not a conversation we should open up because people are just gonna get pissed yeah <laughs> they probably already are <laughs> i know i wouldn't have felt victimized but yo i know i have come across a lot of fucking women that were fucking their teachers in high school and not like on really? some victimized shit like on some fuck yeah I fucked my teacher here fuck yeah I fucked my teacher there absolutely I get stories like that all the fucking time and it blows my mind it blows my mind because all of my teachers were old and like <laughs> like I didn't have any hot teachers I wish I did <laughs> um, she was probably one of the only hot teacher well no there was one more at that school she could have got it with her little midget ass I'd have fucked her but those are probably like the only two I can remember that I came across you know through my years of school that I would have that I would have fucked um but like you know as a fucking student like how do you make that move <laughs> like alright you show me your pussy and your tits all the time but I really don't know how to progress this to the next level <laughs> I'm going to need you to ask me to stay after class or something. <laughs> Give detention or something. But I think it was probably mostly like the thrill of it for her. I would imagine. I don't know. Because I, I know people. a lot of people get turned on by like the thrill of getting caught or this, that, or the other. So I can't even imagine why she would do it, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, have you seen me, girl? 
Girl. <laughs> well, I haven't seen you as a little kid. So, oh, I don't know. My penis was the same size. I'm assuming you were cuter as a little kid. I would, I would assume so. I would assume so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We can leave the grammar alone. And I'm sure all the grammar Nazis will hit us up and be like, thank you so much for speaking out about our cause. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> BDSM contracts. And I want to talk about this because so some guy messaged me and was like, me and my girlfriend are about to enter into a dom-sub relationship. And I was wondering if you could help me come up with some rules for the contract. And I didn't want to answer immediately, like, I, okay. I, because I don't do that. Like, I don't write contracts with these chicks. Like, I just don't have the time. I really don't. There's too many of them. I need a filing cabinet. <laughs> I just don't have the time for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care. I don't care that much. Um, so I put it out there for my, you know, my followers to give their input. And there were some interesting ones. Like, first of all, have you ever been in this type of situation where you, there's a contract involved? Not like a legit like piece of paper that I signed. No. I, right. Exactly. But, and that's. But what, is that what he was talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I haven't done that. But there's been like verbal, I guess, contracts. I guess. I definitely. There are some chicks that I give rules to, for sure. Um, I'm not getting to the point where I'm like writing out a fucking contract. First of all, I ain't signing no motherfucking contract. <laughs> I need my lawyers to look at that shit. <laughs> I ain't signing a fucking thing. <laughs> but like, I've I've never done it, so I put it out there to them just to see like the kind of responses they would get, and like every response, every response that came in, like I had to modify it. <laughs> like, <laughs> One dude is like, every time you enter the house, she has to greet you. I was like, no, correction. She's got to get on her fucking knees. She has to greet your cock with her mouth until he pushes her off. And then she's to slouch down on her knees with her fucking head down until he tells you you can fucking move or what to do. <laughs> so I did this all day today, making these corrections. And I was like, huh, I kind of like this. I'm kind of good at this. Maybe I should be writing contracts. <laughs> Um, so I just, yeah, I, I kind of figured between the two of us, if anybody had experience with that, it would have been you. Um, it's definitely not me. Like, I, I just don't care that much. I really don't. It's just not something that I'm interested. I just, I feel like that's kind of like official or like more serious than like what I'm wanting. Can you imagine? So I wouldn't, you, yeah, I wouldn't want. Can you imagine if, like, you didn't greet his cock one day when he came home? Next thing you know, you're getting served for fucking papers for a uh, for civil court. <laughs> He's suing you for bre insane. breach of contract. <laughs> oh my god, that's insane! And they, like, present the contract and like all these crazy things. <laughs> they read it in front of everyone at the court. Your honor. <laughs> Your honor. Excuse me, miss, why did you not greet his cock when he walked in the door? <laughs> well, what had happened was... <laughs> and then you're fined $5,000. Oh, my God. The best is if Judge Judy was your judge. <laughs> that would be the best. Yo, can you imagine? She's a bitch. <laughs> She's a fucking bitch. <laughs> I you... love her. <laughs> I don't want to hear you. I don't want to hear your answer. I don't. Want to, I don't want to hear excuses. Why didn't you not suck his dick? <laughs> <laughs> don't say but or if or then or blah blah blah. Just why did you not suck his dick? It's right here in the contract. <laughs> Everything uh. else is irrelevant. We need to know why you didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she would be amazing at BDSM contract court. Like. <laughs> I feel like this needs to be a television show. Actually, now that now that I think of it, like shit. We need to trademark copyright whatever you say. This is <laughs> brilliant. This is fucking brilliant. No one take our idea, or talk to Judge Judy before we do. 
I'm sure she'd be thrilled to hear from us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Enough about that. So, first of all, we're going we're gonna to answer this email that we got. And it's a long email. Very, very long. Like three screenshots long. <laughs> and we're going to take it like piece by piece. But I feel obligated to answer it because I opened the fucking DM of the girl who sent it like a fucking idiot <laughs> to give her the email address to send it to. And I told her before reading it, I was like, I'm, I'm going to discuss it tonight on the fucking podcast. So, let's see. I'm going to have you start and I'm going to stop you when there's something in the very beginning like I want to chime in about. But... Get your reading finger out and have at it. <laughs> okay. I'm really nervous. I didn't have a teacher that exposed herself to teach me good reading skills. You were robbed. <laughs> so it says, hi there, you're fuckboy and yes sir, daddy sir, a.k.a. cock monster. <laughs> Is that where you wanted to chime in? <laughs> I just love that the name is sticking. I fucking love it. <laughs> I apologize for the long note in advance, but wanted to send one email rather than five. All right, first of all, do, I we, have been... do we accept her apology? Because it's long. I mean, I guess. I mean, I'd rather have it in like this than like on like Snapchat or something. All right, well, I'm not accepting the apology, but move on. <laughs> I have been speaking with a guy I met via Facebook for six years, but for one reason or another, we've never actually met. Around four years ago, our texting turned to sexting, and he started to introduce me to the idea of being a sub, telling me what to do over text and what pics to send him, etc. I know you're going to think it's lame as I listened to your podcast yesterday about how you hate sexting. All right, I, I do want to stop right there. It's not that I hate sexting. I will. I use it as a tool. I do use it as a tool from time to time. Not as much as I used to. It's not that I hate it. I just feel like most women are not capable of re reciprocating. So I'm not anti-sexting. Let's sext all day. Fuck it. But anyway. <laughs> continue. Okay. Okay. I've just come out of a two-year relationship and our sexting rekindled recently. We've been friends for years and have been really supportive during the time we've known each other. My question to you both is around the catching feelings for your dom. For me to be able to really lose all control, I have to trust and respect the person. Although they can treat me like a slut in the bedroom, if they wanted to treat me like shit outside of the bedroom, I'm not. I won't. I not be interested. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Apparently her her That's what it says. her English teacher didn't show his penis either. It's a shame. <laughs> so I suppose I want to understand how a real Dom sub relationship gets established without wanting more from each other. I feel like sex is sex, but the psychological relationship you develop with someone like that is very rare to come by. You want me to keep going or are you gonna <laughs> um oh hold on i'm just like skimming the next part just to see if we should stop let's just stop for a second okay i have so many questions like <laughs> i'm under the impression that they've never met was that yeah the, is I, that yeah they've never met in years? person six years over yeah facebook um mm -hmm. that's a long fucking time that mm -hmm. is a long fucking time like I, I have so many questions like I, I don't even know um let's see people ask me about the feelings thing all the time how do you not catch feelings I I I don't really have feelings <laughs> like <laughs> there's not a situation in my life I can think of that I can't say fuck it and walk away from in a split second. I've always been like that. I just don't care. Um, so when people ask me that, I, I I tell them, listen, like learn how to control your emotions and, and not let your emotions control you. You know, it it probably takes a little bit of 
I don't know, practice or whatever. But that's the best answer that I can give. Like, it's not something I have to worry about. So it doesn't really, I mean, it pertains to me, but it doesn't. Well, I feel like you have to be very self-aware um, to do to even be capable of doing that. You need to know who you are and, like, what you stand for, what you like, what you dislike, who you are, like, as a person, like, to the core. You need to know yourself in and out, and you need to respect yourself in and out and know, like, that you don't need anybody else. You don't need to depend on someone else, that you are a person in yourself like you don't need someone else to complete you it's funny I I have this I have this fucking meme that I made like last year or the year before and it says they tell you that you can't love someone else until you learn how to love yourself <clears throat> what they don't tell you is that once you learn to love yourself you don't want to love anyone else because you love yourself so <laughs> much like you just <laughs> You don't have no love for anybody else. And like, like I, There's I, no more. It's it, just all for you. <laughs> yeah, which is great. It's fucking great. Like, and I wholeheartedly believe that shit. Um, I, I feel like a dom sub relationship. If there's feelings involved, don't do it. Don't don't even get involved in it because it's it's. I don't want to say hands down it's not going to work because I'm sure there's some fucking people out there it works for and I don't need the fucking messages. I don't want to hear your life story about how your fucking husband is your dom. Congratulations. I don't give a fuck. But, like, <laughs> I, I feel it's best kept on a very, a very impersonal level, you know. Not to say that you can't have some sort of rapport or even some sort of connection. I feel like anytime there's a connection with somebody, the sex is going to be better regardless. I feel like there needs to be a connection always if you're having sex with someone consistently. That's because you're a there woman. Need, yeah, yeah, okay. There needs consistently. to yeah, be right. something. <laughs> consistently you know what I mean? Key. I mean, if it's just like a like a random, like one-time thing, obviously it doesn't matter. But if it's going to be consistently, even just for a few months, like there has to be some sort of substance, even if it's something very small, something little and stupid. Definitely, definitely. Um there, there definitely has to be trust. Like, has to be trust. Uh, the girl I had on last week, she, we were texting today, and, you know, I was like fucking torturing her, her with that fucking toy for 24 hours fucking straight. And, <laughs> you know, I choke her out all the fucking time, but I tried something I hadn't tried with her before, and this is while she's tied to the fucking, to the bar. <laughs> I plugged her nose and covered her mouth like legit couldn't breathe and like the fucking terror on her face was unreal so <laughs> and I had been meaning to ask her about it and I asked her about it today I was like you know did you like that she was like I liked it but it terrified me blah 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 I was like yo like I've never seen you I've never seen you look like that You you looked like legit fucking terrified and she was like yeah well like I said it did scare me but I did like it and I trust you so you can do it again and I think that was this, mm -hmm. that's so fucking key because while I can tell you the look in her eyes was oh my god is he gonna fucking kill me <laughs> <laughs> like that shit was real <laughs> shit was so real um, but she knows I'm not you know she knows I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hurt her like to that extent like that's not my that's not my uh, that's not the point I, I don't know so you're not a murderer <laughs> it really is what it comes down to <laughs> right, well I didn't say that you said it anyway <laughs> <laughs> okay maybe you are uh, <laughs> a murderer those things I don't know I'm just saying you know I like to leave all the options on the table that's all I'm saying <laughs> I don't like to rule anything. I'm fucking Greek and Italian, man. Listen, you know, sometimes you just got to handle things. You know what I mean? <laughs> it oh, is what God. it is. Um, it was, I don't know. From my from my point of view, and my you know, from my thought process, I don't think it's good to get involved with somebody that, if you're going to have a dom-sub relationship, have that and leave that separate from your, you know, the rest of your life. Like, that is that. But I think once you... 
you bring feelings and shit into it, it's going to ruin it. And I don't mean, I'm not even saying like ruin it, like because y'all aren't going to talk anymore. It, it takes, from my experience, it takes something out of the dynamic of the dom sub relationship because it's, you know, you're getting into like boyfriend, girlfriend bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, I did something like that before with a dom, and it didn't work out because he got really, like, like jealous and, like, possessive, and just, like, that's really the best way I can explain it, really just, like, and nothing was even happening, like, it's not like I was doing anything, like, cheating on him, if that's what you want to say, but he was just really, like, insecure like thinking that I was and like stuff like that which I'm you know as we all know ends lots of either ends lots of relationships or actually facilitates cheating to happen when you're you know barking down that you know if you're gonna fucking yell at me for cheating on you all the time and I'm not well maybe I should just go cheat on you because it doesn't seem the recourse (laughs) (laughs) the recourse isn't that bad you just yell so fuck it (laughs) I'm gonna go fuck your friend now so um Let's see. She's asking how a real dom sub relationship gets established without wanting more. Uh, I don't think I don't think the majority of women that come to me want anything more. They might, but they definitely don't vocalize it, which is good and smart and keep it that way. But uh, like I, I I just don't associate the two. I really don't. One is oh, have at it. <laughs> well, I I think it it kind of has to do with, and I hate to say this because I'm not really a fan of it, but like the Fifty Shades movie and books. I'm blocking I think, you tonight. <laughs> I think that put a lot of like ideas in you're in right. women's heads. I think you're and absolutely they, right. They think that this guy, what, what's his name? Mr. Gray or something? I have something? no idea. He is like a legit like guy. Like you can find a guy like him. And I think a lot of doms are more like you where it's very casual and very light. And you're not really going to find like a husband, like boyfriend type guy. That's Prince, also Prince gonna Charming be- that's going to beat your ass. <laughs> yeah. Like it's just... Those two personalities, fairy tale. You, have to be, you have to be a certain type of personality to be a dom and a certain type of personality to, like, be a husband and, like, a, you know, Definitely. and the chances of finding that in one person, I don't think it's very common. And that movie and those books, I think, give people false ideas. I think it's possible. I'm not going to, I think anything is possible. <clears throat> but common, likely, no, I don't. I really don't. And I just, like I said, I think it's better to just keep keep them separate. Like, you have your fucking dom, and then go, you know, have your regulars or whatever. But I wouldn't mix the two. I know a lot of girls, too, that, like, they... Because it's hard to find a legit dom, like, someone that's actually really, like, about it. And when you find one, it's like you kind of keep that one, at least until you find another one or whatever. <laughs> and so... <Bitch. laughs> you <laughs> You... You have, like, your regular guys, like, oh, it might be a little bit rough, or maybe it's just vanilla, whatever, but every so often you go and you see your dom to get, like, your fix, mm-hmm. kind of, in a way. Mm-hmm. Put so, back in your place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I, I know it all, all too well. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go on to chapter two of this email. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I don't even know if there's anything else in here is asking anything, but whatever. Your podcast is funny as fuck, and since listening, I do feel like I've got some confidence back, mainly because I've shagged a couple guys recently. Um, but had the confidence to go out there and get it rather than wait for rather than wait around for it to hit on me. I like that. I respect that. To be honest, um, do you hit on guys? I don't. No. Most, most women don't. Um, okay. This guy I'm referring to told me told me to get a video of me sucking another guy's dick, which I delivered on. 
He could ask me to do anything, and I would make sure I did it. He makes me call him sir. I've been looking into. I've been looking to get into into a new dom sub relationship, but I just find it really difficult to trust that a guy will be able to be a proper dom role um, that I have now with my online friend. Um. Let me just finish because it's very, very little bit left. What are the key things to being a quote real dom, and how can I make sure I'm not getting too attached while I'm obeying? I look forward to hearing from you. P.S. Every time you sign off your podcast with "Be a Good Girl for Daddy," it gives me goosebumps. Well, I hope it makes your fucking pussy tingle too, bitch. <laughs> anyway, um, I forgot what I read. I feel like you have to like take it all in for a second. I know, right? Like I gotta, I gotta reread this. Hang on a second. <laughs> well, I have, I have so many questions, and I'm actually I'm gonna I'm gonna message her back since she's in my fucking DMs now with an open DM. I hate that shit. <laughs> but I have questions. Like, I, I don't accept them because I don't want them to be able to right send back? me whatever I anytime know. they want. It's the fucking worst. <laughs> yeah, like, yo, leave me alone. <laughs> if this is not for promo, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Get out of my fucking DMs. Yeah. Do you get, like, regular people, like, messaging you saying, what are the promos? I want a promo. <laughs> like, no. I think it's, like, something no. that you do if they no. ask for it. No. I don't, I, I'm sure I have, but nothing, nothing stands out. No. I get so many weird messages from fucking people, man. Oh, my God. I get people doing that all the time. That's just weird. <laughs> people would be like how, how do I get a promo I want one I would I would <laughs> respond with my PayPal email address like, uh, this, is, this is out send me $200 <laughs> bitch um, <laughs> so first and foremost here's my question for her and and we will update this because like I said, she's in my DM for life now, or until they delete me again. But <laughs> like, or you have to block her, <laughs> <laughs> or I try to dom her, and next thing you know, yeah, I gotta block her. Um, <laughs> I I want to know why she's focused on like you've got this connection with this dude for six years. I don't think you've ever met in person. Why are you not? And and I'm assuming that's who she sent the video to of her sucking somebody's dick. It was I'm just assuming because yeah, it's not very clear. Mm -hmm. So why is that off the tables? A, what mm -hmm. I want to know. But if it's because she's got too many feelings involved, okay, I can respect that. Maybe it's not good to go meet your Facebook stalker who probably kill you once you finally meet him. Because you know, Facebook is weird. Um. <laughs> I feel like this is really for you. Like these is this because I've never, I've never picked a dom, <laughs> so I think you probably have more insight on this than than I do. Well, I understand what she's saying as far as um, like you have to trust. Um, well, I understand what she's saying as far as like that she needs to, like establish like trust in order to fully like submit. Which I'm semi the same way. Like, I, I think we talked about it on one of the first episodes where a guy just thinks he can just demand shit and it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was, well, so, that was kind of my point in, in telling the story about the girl we had on last week and the texting I was doing with her. I, mm -hmm. I think that anybody that I sleep with regularly, whether I know them very well, like, I, I know them all enough, but whether I know them very well or not, I, I think that they would all say that at least on that level, that they trust me. And I think yeah. that's very important. Like, because I, as a man that doesn't use condoms, like I have to trust you too. Cause I know I'm not the mm -hmm. only person you're fucking. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. I th no, I think trust is a big thing with anyone you're having sex with, whether it's yeah. a sub dom or not yeah. because of STDs or getting pregnant or things like that. Um, so I understand where she's coming from, but you, it's a different kind of trust that I think it's not like you, 
trust them completely like 100 like it's more just like i know you're not gonna actually like seriously injure me right. or hurt me right that's the level of trust that you have to have um so i get what she's saying as far as that goes but i do think it's weird that if they haven't met after six years my mind automatically goes to like catfish like he's bullshitting her <laughs> right. and honestly if you haven't even met in real life like how do you even know he's a dom he could literally be pulling shit out of his ass like he has he might not he could be a virgin like who knows i, I agree i agree completely with that um <clears throat> and what and maybe i just read too much into this but it stated that you know she stated that we sexed a lot but she didn't say anything like like we've talked about this enough like sexting whatever but if I, if I want to get off with a chick that's not in my presence mm-hmm. she's going to get me off on FaceTime yeah FaceTime so, Skype something right I don't I mean she didn't say that they've ever done that or even talk on the phone right it's just like messages right so I, I have a lot of questions for her uh, we're going to be best friends she's going to hate me <laughs> I have a lot of questions <laughs> like like, how do you know you're not getting catfish? I guess it really doesn't matter. But maybe it does matter because you're sending him videos of you sucking other guys' dicks. You may not want to do that. I don't know. <laughs> Just depending <laughs> depending on how well you know that this person is actually that person. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what are things to, what are key things to being a real dom? from a female sub point of view oh I thought this was more for you since you are the dom not me well I mean she's a chick and she's you know like I, I don't I don't know like I run my life the way I run my life I I don't know I, I, what I do probably I know it doesn't work for everyone because I've had chicks that you know we've talked and whatever and then it's like kind of gone south and stopped talking Mm-hmm. But I'm into what I'm into, and the way I run my life is the way I run my life. So, uh, I guess it's really, really depends on what the fuck you're looking for and what you're into. And I'm, uh, the only way you're really going to figure that out is by having a conversation with the person. Yeah. I think, too, is what I've experienced is when you're messaging with someone or even talking on the phone with someone until you're actually <clears throat> in person with them and like, it's about to go down like they talked all this like game that they do this this and this and then they don't deliver yeah they usually <laughs> they're usually full of shit yeah that's there's really no way i i don't think to like know for sure if he's a real dom until you just experience it. you're doing it i think you can take some things through you know the right kind of conversation even some through sexting, although that's not, you know, that's definitely not foolproof. But I think you can, depending on how how intuitive of a person that you are, you can probably figure out some. Like I know, like some of these girls that I talk to before I fuck them, I know it enough about what they're into that, like, fuck yeah, I know the sex is gonna be good. Like I know it's gonna be good, mm-hmm. just because I know what you're into. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I think a lot of the times with doms that I found, like, outside of their bedroom, they're very, they're just dominant personalities in general. Right. Like, if they walk in a room, they're going to be more loud, more outgoing, and just more lively. Mm-hmm. Like, in a sub, like myself, if I'm in a room, I'm very observant, I'm very quiet, and I don't really say much. I never start a conversation. You have to approach me. So... I think that might be a way to tell if he's a real dom. If they just have a bigger personality, in my experience. And I, I feel like one of the, probably the biggest um, character traits would be confidence. Yeah. Like you speaking with confidence. You are you're directing with confidence, not like you should do this. No, bitch, do this. This is what I just told you to do. fucking do it. Period. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that like confidence plays a huge part in that and I was and right and they're usually like no bullshit like right. no bullshitting around but there's a way to go about that no beating around the bush like I'm gonna tell you what it is right and I think there's a way to go about that 
without saying, hey, slut, send me some pictures, even though we just started talking 10 minutes ago. Like, there's a yeah. fine fucking line that I that I personally walk with what I do in my life. It's very, very, very fine. Very <laughs> fine. Very fine. And I'm very careful about everything that I do when I say and I think about it before I do it. Um, so I, I read some, you know, some of these girls will send, like, pictures of, like, screenshots of their sexting with these guys, and they'd be like, oh, and they're so turned on by it, and I'm reading, like, what the guy's writing, and I'm just like, really, that turned you on? <laughs> like, bitch, I will have you fucking squirting in your pants <laughs> in less than a minute and a half. Like, that turned you on? Come on. Get out of here. <laughs> BT dub. BT dub. I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a <laughs> pussy pick. BT dub. Nah, fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my boner, baby. <laughs> boner. My favorite word. All right, I was right. That question took up like half the fucking night. So that was like 18 questions in right? one question. But I liked it, and I encourage more people to actually send those. That was an email. She emailed it to us at uh, Plan B Podcast Six Nine um, at Gmail. Is it? It's. There's no V in it, right? It's just Plan B. Hang on, let me let me just um, check this right so. quick. I don't know. Yes, I said it right. We don't even know the email. I know, we never <laughs> use it. But I'm encouraging you guys to, to email us with your stories and, and whatnot. It's planbpodcast69 at gmail.com. Um, so I guess they're about to kick us out of the studio, so let's wrap this up. Should I do my dance? Okay. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. I just made it up. <laughs> it seems cool. Oh, it's not. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> okay. I can't bring you either. Okay. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Nighty night. Dream of that pussy being tight. <laughs> I'm fucking dying. I don't know why I can't stop laughing. You know, last week I was thinking about your sign off, and I was like, "Man, fuck that! The fuck keeping your pussy tight. Dream of that pussy being clean." <laughs> I don't know why I had that thought, <laughs> but keep the pussy clean. Clean it's and very tight. important, especially in these hot tight. summer days. It's hot as a motherfucker, out here. and yeah. a baby wipe is okay, not. Keep your balls clean too. Oh, I, I always, do. I always do. And a baby wipe is not is not an okay thing to call your oh my pussy's clean I wiped it with a baby wipe nah nah nah, nah. anyway <laughs> I digress send us your fucking messages or whatever and yeah you know you know the fucking drill we'll be back next week with uh, some more ridiculousness um I guess that's it and let's get out of here remember always be a good girl for daddy. And I hope that makes your fucking pussy tingle, bitch. Bye-bye. <laughs>